Today, members, we have the special privilege of welcoming a new representative to this chamber. Joining us for this special event is Chief Justice Kennedy, who we are honored to have with us in the chamber to administer the oath of office and who I would ask to please approach the well. And Leader Lopez Quintero, you are recognized for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is my honor to move that Representative Jose Oliva be seated as a member of the Florida House of Representatives upon taking the oath of office. Leader Lopez Quintero moves that Representative Jose Oliva be seated as a member of the House upon taking the oath of office. All in favor signify by saying yay. Yay. Opposed nay. Show the motion adopted. I will now ask Representative Gonzalez to escort Representative Oliva and his family to the well where Chief Justice Kennedy will administer the oath of office. Please approach the well. Please place your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I, Jose Oliva, do solemnly I, swear. I, Jose Oliva, do solemnly swear. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution and government. The Constitution and government. Of the United States and of the state of Florida. The United States and of the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the state. To hold office under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of member of the House of Representatives. Perform the duties of member of the House of Representatives. On which I am now about to enter. On which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Representative Oliva. I understand that you have friends and family in Tallahassee uh, here with you. A special welcome to all of your family and to you officially to our chamber. You are now recognized to introduce yourself uh, and to your fellow members. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the rare privilege to be able to address this House. Thank you to all of the members that have welcomed me here, and thank you to our Chief Justice. It is an honor, sir, to have been administered the oath by you. Today I have the privilege of having here my mother, Carmen. My father could not make it, but I want to recognize and thank the two of them, because they are the two people in my life that performed that first leap without which no American story can begin. They fled their country in pursuit of liberty and prosperity and found it here in America. And while I can never repay all that they have done for me, I hope that in some small part my work here will serve as a source of pride and validation for those sacrifices that they made. Thank you. I would also like to thank my brothers and sisters who at different times in my life served as advisors, friends, co-conspirators, <laughs> but who always served as loving and ardent supporters. Thank you for all that you have done for me as well. I would like to reserve my most special thanks to my beautiful wife and soulmate, Jeannie. You know that it is no exaggeration when I say that I could not be here if not for your support and the sacrifices you all have made. And I promise that the work that we do here will be worthy of that sacrifice. Thank you. I love you. And to my friends in the Florida House who welcomed me here just a few short months ago, thank you for asking me into your office for some words of advice and encouragement. Thank you for sometimes finding me lost in the hallways and pointing me to my right committee. I commit to you that how important an issue is to me will always be due in no small part to how important it is to you. Thank you. I am here grateful from the residents of District 110 and I thank them for giving me the honor to represent them here. And I commit to them that we will do all in our power 
to reduce the burden of government upon them and to give them the maximum amount of liberty, which is their ultimate right. And I want to thank God for all that he's done for us. And I hope that he will bless the work that we do here, that he may bless our great nation, and that he may bless her greatest state of Florida. Thank you. Representative Leva, congratulations and welcome to the Florida House.